got them. I'm on. Yeah, I'm ready now. Yeah. Mike, how you doing? Good to see you. You too, mate. What's, uh, what's going on this evening? We're down at Staines Rugby Club. Yeah, apparently they've won a, uh, a competition, the Coach Catty evening, where I've uh, got the ability to come and give some expertise. But uh, normally in situations like this, they, I teach, I learn more than they actually get taught. So, but no, they've uh, done exceptionally well over the past couple of years. I think they only had five, um, five players a couple of years ago. They've now got loads. You know, there's 60 odd tonight. So done exceptionally well over the past two, three years to get themselves back up to, to where they need to be. But very excited. Apparently a uh, good bunch of guys too, so we'll have a bit of banter. What does it mean to get out here in, in the grassroots game? Obviously you at the top level a lot. What does it mean to get down at this sort of level here? Well, it's not often that we uh, get the youth opportunities. So uh, to, to spread the message and, and, and get out there, especially with the World Cup coming up, I think it's, it's crucial that we, we show our faces around where the rugby's actually played. You know, these, these clubs do exceptionally well. Um, to get funding and, and fundraising and all that sort of stuff that um, gets him, gets these guys on the pitch. So let's have a look and see how good they are. I'll give you, I'll feed you a whole lot of information. Some of it's right, some of it's wrong. You decide, all right? But hopefully we're just going to have a bit of fun. What I expect from you guys, a lot of energy, okay? So if you're on the floor, you get up off the floor, you're back in the game continually all the time. Basic thing in rugby, get your hands up, okay? This is not a target for someone to pass the ball to. This is a target. Well done. Keep going. Well done. Excellent. Excellent. Keep running. Well done, boys. You guys are sharp, man. Sharp like a butter knife. Let's go. I can't tell you how excited we are as a club. I really can't. And uh, it just shows, you know, you've got parents down here. Uh, I mean, I'd be chuffed to bits if I had my young lad out there now being coached by Catty. But the wind cat was, uh, it was really icing on a cake of a lot of hard work by a lot of people. Have you got a Snapchat account or something? No, I don't do that. That says it all, mate. <laughs> Come on in, let's go have some fun. Who's over there? Let those guys dictate that, especially in your own half, and then you can just sit out the back. You don't have to be in the front line all the time. Because you, because you come back at such an angle, you can only go one way. You're running straight in the back row almost there. Just be mindful of it. We did a bit of attacking drills, and we went into tackling, a bit of rucking, clearing out of the ball. What was that like to meet him? What was it like to have a session with him? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, it's an England international World Cup winner and it brings something to the club. So when you're getting the ball, as you're receiving it, you're looking at that space. As soon as you get it, you go into that space. Okay. okay? So as soon as you turn your head like that, as a defender, I'm just going to push off you. Well, you can see a few of them are trying their hardest, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Good smiles. There's a lot of smiles in their faces, but it does mean a lot. For someone of that influence has won a World Cup. so. It definitely means a lot. Just listening to him will probably give a boost to the boys, and I'm sure on Saturday I'll go out and uh, blow another team off the park like they've been doing this year. Kicking wise, give yourself a little bit more time on the ball because you kick it a flipping country mile. Andy Good. What did you do with the 16s festival? You had a bit of a session with that. Talk me through what yeah, we did. Yeah, just, just uh, you know, we just broke it down a little bit about the passing, a little bit of breakdown, a bit of tackle. You know, just key areas that, obviously, with the concussion protocols and all that stuff that's coming into the game, serious concerns. There's just making sure that we we're giving the same message that we do to the senior team, we're doing to the to the grassroots level as well. And then taking it on to the seniors here, what did you do with them? Well, you're a little more of an observing role, but what did that take on? Yeah. Yeah, they just because they've got a game on Saturday, so I don't want to thrash them too much. So um, still going pretty at it quite yeah, a lot. No, it's, like. it's a good good bunch of guys to be honest. It's a big lump there, so uh, you know, hopefully they do well. But no, just again, just their that's their captain's run, their team run. Um, so they just went through their plays and no, some very good stuff there. Well, it's brilliant for me as an international coach too. You actually you only coach when you're in camp. So for me to to, to have a coaching session before I'm going into camp on, on Monday with the England boys is, is huge, you know, it just gets me back on my feet. I've had to think about it and plan it and all that sort of stuff like I've got to do for the next five weeks. So so from my point of view, coming in and having banter with the guys, you know, great banter with the boys. And uh, you know, that's why the game is so brilliant, is you can come to clubs like this and it's a, it's a good social um, with good skill and they expect expect a lot from each other. So, but no, it's, uh, it's great fun. Cheers boys, good luck.